The science is clear. Virtually every week, there's new studies confirming the value of ketones. And thankfully, we have the best device to measure it most accurately, Keto Mojo. We have a finite life with the majority of our customers, and we're happy about that. Mm -hmm. uh, other large pharmaceutical companies, they want you to be with them for their entire life and milk as much money from you. We realize that our job is through affordable testing. People can test, they can work out what their bioindividuality is, and they test a lot to begin with. But as they adjust and change their dietary choices, they test and they're in ketosis, they test their in ketosis. And then what happens is the frequency of the testing drops off because they're now living a very healthy, vital life. What we do need to see is more clinical trials and studies or greater cohorts of information um, that can be delivered um, for, through different um, uh, medical channels so that we can really showcase the eff efficacy of these, these treatments in, in a clinical double-blind way. is um, if, especially in, in cancer that the, this really bio-individualized targeting is coming into play. Uh, a good integrative oncologist is first of all going to make out and want you to take a full genome test and they're going to be taking a look at wanting to make sure that you've got the they're going to be looking at the type of cancer that you have and making sure that the, the targeted therapy that they're going to do it is going to work. I want to be close to that. Keto, for a lot of cancers, it will be very advantageous, but there are still some cancers who are tenacious and will feed off of ketones. There are some cancers that cannot feed off of ketones. And so being on a ketogenic diet gives you a, ma a huge amount of advantage.